welcome to Art High Virtual Edition. My name is Lori. Today we're going to try our hand at a new type of artwork and it's alcohol ink. We'll need a small container of black alcohol ink, a straw, isopropyl, alcohol, and an eyedropper. Your alcohol needs to be 99% and the alcohol ink you can purchase from a craft store. I'm using mixed media paper. It has to be a paper that is not too porous or it will absorb too much of the alcohol and won't allow us to spread it. We'll start by putting several drops of the alcohol ink in the middle of the paper. Wait for it to absorb into the paper for about 30 to 60 seconds. Using an eyedropper, put one drop of isopropyl alcohol on the end and then blow gently through your straw. Turn your paper and I have it taped down so that it doesn't slide around and do the same thing on another side of the circle. You'll want to, in the beginning, make the uh, part that you're blowing about the same size on each side to begin with. Just keep turning your paper adding a drop of alcohol and then letting it sit for a couple of seconds then blowing it to spread it out. You can see that it very much looks like the petals of a flower which makes it easy to do abstract flower art using this method. You'll see that although we're only using black ink, blue and red begins to come out of the ink as you spread it more thinly. What I'm doing here is simply trying to dry the paper a little bit before continuing with more ink and more alcohol. So I want to try to avoid having these big black drops. So you'll see me return to the same area of ink over and over again. And the more often you blow on the same spot of ink, the more you'll bring out the reds and blues um, in, in more of a shadowy effect. Completing a project like this takes quite a long time. Sometimes when I'm working on it, I think, oh, maybe I'm done, and then I just keep going. I think as I do more of these, I might stop a little sooner um, than I have with the first two that I've done, because I really do like the effects with less as opposed to more.
as your paper gets more saturated, it does get lumpy and it's harder to um, direct the airflow so that the ink is going in the direction you want. At this time, I start picking my paper up and tilting it downward in the direction I want the ink to go. I really want to go back now and focus on all the black dots that I have and start adding more ink in between them and then blending them so that there's a black background but not in circle forms like it is right now. This again takes a lot of ink and alcohol in order to get this blend going a little more. And I work on each side equally, consistently turning the paper around so that I'm, I'm keeping it uniform throughout. Although I said you only need black ink, and that's true, um, you get some lovely pinks and blues using just the black, but I sometimes like to add a touch of metallic to some of my artwork, and so I have this gold alcohol ink that I'm going to use, and it just adds a splash of color to the overall composition. This gold does not disperse as well as the black, so what I'm doing now is putting the gold on and blowing on it immediately to disperse it a bit. I will come back then and add some alcohol to it to try and disperse it a little more, especially where the new color begins, to try and blend it in with the other colors. You can see now that the black ink spots are starting to blend with the other colors, which was my goal. I will go back and add more black so that the gold is not so predominant and blend this all together a little more. If you want to display this artwork, you'll need to put a sealer, it's an acrylic finisher, on your artwork to prevent the paper from getting all warped and the corners turned up and to prevent it from discoloring. This sealer will help your artwork look as nice in the future as it does today. I mounted mine into a shadow box type of frame and I'll be hanging it up in my house.